I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week we are all about South Florida living, architecture and design. We are in Miami at a loving homage to tropical architecture. And we're checking out this stylish riverfront gem in Fort Lauderdale. Art Deco details set the stage for a curator's vast collections. Plus, this staircase is just the beginning of the surprises in this Miami Beach stunner. But first, what would you give for these sublime views every day from this triplex penthouse overlooking South Beach and beyond? This is the epitome of modern Miami luxury. Let me show you what we did. Welcome to Open House NYC. On today's show, we are shining the spotlight on South Florida living. Now, anyone who's ever spent any time in that corner of the country knows it's not just about the beaches, though the beaches are pretty idyllic, <laughs> but it's also about the vibrant lifestyle, the art, the food, and of course, the beautiful homes. We are getting started high above South Beach atop one of the city's most exclusive buildings with a regular on our show, Cheryl Eisen. Cheryl designed this over 11,000 square foot triplex penthouse to be a reflection of the city itself. Glamorous yet comfortable, sprawling yet intimate, sexy yet serene. And those Magic City views from both inside and out are in a word, jaw-dropping. Or is that two words? It's one. See for yourself. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Cheryl Eisen from IMG. Today I'm coming to you from this amazing triplex penthouse we designed here in South Beach. This is the developer's very own unit and definitely one of the city's largest. It's got over 11,000 square feet of interior living space with seven bedrooms, five terraces, and a two-story roof with a surprise I can't wait to show you. This is the epitome of modern Miami luxury. Let me show you what we did. You open the doors from the private keyed in elevator and you immediately see what this place is all about. Light and views. And it's that light and those views that draw you from the foyer into this amazing great room. In fact, I'm willing to bet that this penthouse has some of the best views in all of Miami. From the blue waters of the Atlantic to Biscayne Bay, what more could you want from the Magic City? And the cruises going by remind you that if you live here, your ship has definitely come in. Now, if you know our aesthetic, you know that we love low-profile sofas, and here is no different. It accentuates the height of the ceilings and keeps the sight lines unobstructed. Small or large, gold accents always bring a luxurious touch to any space. We also use shears to soften the light from the floor-to-ceiling windows. Another signature of ours is a wall of mirrors, and with these ocean views, who wouldn't want to double them? Now, if you want, you can take in the sun and the ocean breezes on this wraparound terrace. It links the great room to the kitchen and this amazing dining room. This is without a doubt one of my favorite dining rooms that we've designed. We custom created this massive dining table to complement the sheer size of this space. We placed 12 organically shaped Jonathan Adler chairs all around the table. And because the table is so large, we use love seats for host chairs. It's so regal, it's almost like dining on a throne. To top off the room, we used a pair of sculptural chandeliers. They're totally unexpected, but like all good lighting, they emit a soft glow that makes everybody look good. This is one of those rare bedrooms where the bed actually isn't the star of the show though it is very comfortable. One of the touches we did here was upholster the panels so that the whole wall becomes the headboard. But I just love how there are so many options to relax in this room. There are flanking sofas, window seats, and plush carpeting underfoot. There's even a terrace where you can test the weather to see what you're gonna wear for the day. But let's face it, this is Miami. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, I have one more place to show you. I hope you've 
enjoyed this look inside one of Miami's most beautiful penthouses. It's truly a place where luxury and nature come together in the sky. Coming up after the break, we are sticking around in Miami for a look at this home that surprises the moment you step in. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Miami Beach with architects Todd Davis and Rob Brown. The pair are known for their holistic approach, which doesn't end with the architectural planning. They also oversee the building, the landscape design, and if they're not creating the interior furnishings, they're selecting them. And it's a perfect example of their constantly surprising aesthetic. Hi, I'm Robert Brown. And I'm Todd Davis, and we run a full-service architecture and interior design firm here in Miami. We'd like to welcome you to one of our favorite projects right here in the heart of paradise. This is Casa Vela, and we can't wait to show it to you. The first thing you'll notice is the 17-foot tall sculptural bronze gate designed by Zachary Oxman. We incorporated it for a unique sense of entry. Zach designed this gate to pivot on ball bearings so that it opens with ease, even though it's incredibly heavy. And it sets the stage for all the other surprises we're going to show you. And here we are in the heart of the house where we wanted to create a real wow factor. Lighting is really important on all of our projects. In this space, we took advantage of the beautiful Miami Beach sunshine, and we have a gorgeous skylight. And under the steps, we hid lighting for safety and beauty. And an added benefit is this highly polished stainless steel spiral staircase, which reflects light in a beautiful way. In creating this home, we wanted it to be filled with the unexpected and things you've never seen before. Welcome to the gathering room. We designed this space specifically to feel comfortable for one or huge gathering of family and friends. We even divided the room two thirds, one third by designing this matching angular sofa back to back. The seating area that I'm in is designed to face the TV, the fireplace, and a three-sided book matched wall of quartzite, which is adjacent to the foyer. There's walls of glass that open to the garden, so on beautiful days, it's just a seamless connection between the inside of the house and the outside. This gathering room is very open and also incorporates the dining room and kitchen. Many times in current modern houses, they can feel cold. So we purposely chose rosewood for the open kitchen. We even used a window as a backsplash in this kitchen with a view of a blooming orchid. And in this case, a vintage collection of Murano glass chandeliers. This dining table was designed with really unique angles, which creates an interesting dining experience. In fact, we were so inspired by angles that we created angular rugs throughout the house. We wanted to unify this large space, and we created this custom plaster ceiling specifically for this project. Since this is beautiful Miami Beach, we wanted the garden to reflect that. So it's relaxed, tropical, and sexy. The owners did not want the typical swimming pool, so we created a European spa. We also created this outdoor dining area with book-matched quartzite walls, and we consider the concrete tiles to be the dining area rug that never needs to be changed. It was really fun sharing one of our most favorite projects with you. And this job was really exciting because we had carte blanche to design the architecture, the landscape design, the interior design, and the furniture design. Now let's go enjoy the beach. Coming up just after the break, we are sticking around Miami Beach to explore this Art Deco gem. This is one of the few Art Deco villas that's left in the mid-beach neighborhood. I retained several elements and at the same time made it very tropical and lush. And that's just the outside. Wait until you see what the curator owner did inside.
Welcome back. Now we join Toronto-based curator Stefan Weishaupt in Miami Beach. Stefan wanted his home to be a tropical escape from those cold Canadian winters. And when he came across this perfectly preserved Art Deco structure for which Miami is so well known, he fell in love and set about making it his own both inside and out. Welcome, I'm Stefan. I'm the owner of Avenue Road. This is my home in Miami Beach. This is one of the few Art Deco villas that's left in the Mid-Beach neighborhood. I found this house about seven years ago. I retained several elements here of the garden, like the original tiles, the original shape of the pool, and at the same time made it very tropical and lush. Now it's getting a little hot out here, so let's take a look inside. The foyer functions as the center of the house with all main areas connected to it. I wanted to retain as many architectural features as possible, such as the terrazzo flooring, the columns, and the grand staircase, and fill it with my own furniture. The living room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. It was made for relaxing and entertaining. On one hand, we have the gorgeous round window facing the pool. And on the other hand, we have this beautiful Art Deco mantle around the fireplace. As for the furniture, you see a combination of different pieces that I collect. We have a Brazilian chair by Carlos Mota, this beautiful armchair by Christophe Delcourt, and here an American classic by Vladimir Kagan. I'm a big traveler, I traveled all my life, and I wanted to bring the different worlds together as it's reflected here in this room. So here in my office, in the center of this room, we have this beautiful salmon color desk. It's custom made for the space and the color beautifully complements the green elements of the terrazzo flooring. I spend a lot of time here, especially in the mornings, and when it's not so hot, I like to keep the doors open, looking out onto the pool and enjoying the tropical weather. Interesting design is all about contrast. The dining room is a square space, so I wanted to make a round table its centerpiece. These are some of my favorite chairs. They feature beautiful resin detail on the back and the base. I really love this uh, chandelier here. It reminds me of a space station. It gives a lot of character to this space. Here we are in my bedroom uh, with my lovely little dog, Orlando. What I loved about this house was the different, smaller, intimate spaces, and this room is the perfect example for that. The room features two beautiful corner windows, so very typical for Art Deco style. I had this sofa built, custom built, to connect the two corners. Bedside tables are vintage Brazilian. Wall sconces are also Brazilian made. I like the warmth of the wood tones. It looks like two big eyes on the wall. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my home here in Miami Beach and I hope you enjoyed what I turned it into using the Art Deco house with my collection of furniture and art. See you soon. Coming up just after the break, we head to Fort Lauderdale to check out this architectural gem right on the water. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Fort Lauderdale at this riverfront gem designed by architect Max Strang. Max was inspired by the highly influenced Sarasota School of Architecture, characterized by open plan structures and spaces with walls of glass that help it engage with its surroundings. The result is a home that feels vibrant, exciting, and always unexpected. Inside or out, rain or shine. Take a look. My name is Max Strang, I'm an architect, and welcome to the subtropics here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is a fascinating house in the fact that it is an evolution of Florida modernism. It's really a site-specific and climate-driven design. For me, what makes this house especially interesting is how we've incorporated these long spans and also some architectural elements that provide shade, protection from the sun, provide privacy. And when those things all work together, you get some really fascinating architecture. Once you enter the great room, you're rewarded with some great views, long views down the whole new river. 
This home probably has more European white oak inside it than you'll ever see. It really warms up the place considerably. It makes the house much more livable. So the drop ceilings that you'll find in the great room, they mimic what's going on with the architecture of the exterior as well. We have some of these same long, clean lines that really uh, define the spaces in some, in some creative ways. The kitchen is a great example of merging casual spaces and formal ideas in, in one space. I think you'll find this kitchen has a you know, variety of materials from super sleek cabinets and countertops. You know, the kitchen is really uh, the heart of the house where the stairs from the second floor come down. It has two ways to access it from the great room. And it's also got a really interesting glass bridge connection to the guest wing of the house. Transitional spaces are super important in this house, and we put a lot of thought into what those spaces would be like. So this house has some really unique long corridors that connect the spaces. On the second floor, it links the master bedroom with the two kids' bedrooms and the home office at the end. Over in the guest wing, there is a pretty phenomenal screening room, and there's these vertical dividers that are designed to really either close off the space for a full media experience or to open up and really connect two spaces of that screening room. And those vertical dividers, you know, they are, again, it's something you see on the exterior of the house and it's a theme that we bring through the interior as well. The master suite consists of the master bedroom, a sitting area, an expansive master bathroom, closets, and there's also a little gym tucked to the side. Once you go in and enter the master suite, you really get a sense of these vertical fins that I spoke about on the exterior. These fins, they provide a little more privacy. The bathing areas are really spectacular as well. It's almost like an outdoor shower. I hope you enjoyed exploring this house with me. This house in Fort Lauderdale, it really sums up that Florida living, that coastal living. For me, personally, I just love the way that it advances those timeless concepts of modernism from Florida's past. Thank you for watching and thank you for exploring this, this home with me. Uh, it's really one of my favorites and uh, I hope you liked it too. Well, that home was spectacular and felt like a unique tropical escape. And speaking of tropical escape, you are not going to want to miss what we have coming up next. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're touring the home of Jacob and Melissa Brillhart, principals of Brillhart Architecture. The home is elevated above, yet beautifully integrated into the lush natural surroundings. The Brillhart House, as they have fittingly called it, is a true labor of love and a bright modern homage to tropical architecture. Hello, my name is Jacob Brillhart. I'm an architect and a professor at the University of Miami School of Architecture. And I'm Melissa Brillhart, and we're both principals of Brillhart Architecture, and welcome to downtown Miami. When we start a project, we really study the landscape and the context, and we really try to integrate the building with the surrounding tropical environment. So the idea when you approach the house is you merge through a small forest and you would see a lightweight wooden pavilion sitting up lightly on the landscape. The first experience that you see is a series of wooden louvered screens. And they're all operable and so in some portions you can catch views of the sun but when they're closed it creates this indoor room. It also is a great place to eat at night and just lie out and enjoy a book. As you open the sliding glass doors, you then enter into the living room. There's a long bookcase that spans the full length of the living room, which really was just designed to draw your eye all the way through the space. The formal living space is organized around a central fireplace, and that central fireplace is on direct access with the kitchen, which ties the kitchen and the living together and forms a nice open living space. So all 
of the millwork that you see in the house, including the kitchen, the doors, the bathrooms, all of that is made out of cherry wood, which was reclaimed from a barn in New Hampshire. Being in the kitchen and the kitchen being made out of the cherry makes it feel really warm. But the other interesting thing about the kitchen is that, uh, you know, the island is actually on access with the central hallway. And that was designed intentionally so that as you move through the house, you're actually forced to stop once you come across the island and pause and look out into the sort of expansive green space and nature beyond. We believe this is a great example of tropical modern architecture with the main idea being that we're living in the landscape. We do this by creating a steel and glass house with the incorporation of porches and the orientation of the building and also the use of materials such as wood to create a warm atmosphere and experience. We hope you enjoyed the tour and thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?